Hello everyone, I wanted to quickly show you guys how to do um, alt tags in Expression Web. Um, alt tags can be used uh, for doing accessibility. So the first thing I wanted to show you is just how to test your page for accessibility. So right here I have a page open. Now there's a tool under tools called accessibility reports. We're going to go ahead and run that. Click this and then there's some different settings you can run it against your whole site or just selected page. We're just going to do on a selected page here. And then here are the different things you can check for. And you can check for errors, warnings, or a manual checklist. So uh, we're going to go ahead and run this report against here. Click check. And we found no errors. Let's go ahead and run it again on my current page. And here we go, we got one error. And the error that we're getting is it's a pretty common error. It's an error for uh, basically telling you that you do not have any alt tags associated with the image that you have in the, the document here. Um, to add an alt tag to an image, all you have to do is right click on the image go to picture properties and then here we have alternate text and basically just to alleviate that error that we're getting there you can put a check mark here and put um, text in there and how this basically works is you have to put in a description for the image that you're showing basically what it's used for is for text readers for people that have vision impairments this basically hear what the image is about so by just doing what I just did there if we run, run, rerun this report we should not get any errors and right now we have no errors also if you wanted to I'm going to go ahead and wipe this image out one of the things you'll notice when you insert an image so here we're going to insert an image, picture from file. I'm going to scroll down here and just select that image that we just had in there. One of the first things it does is it asks you for alternate text for the image. So as you're adding the image to the page, it's going to go ahead and ask you for the code. So here we go. And then if I click OK, we can rerun that report again. The current page, no error messages. And if we go here and right click on the image again, go to picture properties, we can see the alternate text is in there for that for that uh, image. Alright, that's it. Thanks.